Hello there everyone, Quinnicky D here. Welcome back to another video. Today we are yet again covering The Sims 4 City Living. In just a few days, I will be able to play this game and stop covering it. Jeez, I'm so tired of it. I just want to play this game. I have so much planned. Um, I know a couple of, uh, I think yesterday, the famous YouTubers that get to go to EA, cough, cough, invite me, um, they get to upload their videos yesterday about, like, you know, showing around, and some of them built houses, some of them did stuff. Yeah, so, I'm just gonna tour you of this interactive map. This is not what the map looks like in-game. Obviously, we all know Sims 4 games don't look like this, but... They got to, we get to explore this interactive map. So as you see, there's a sidebar here and they highlight the different parts of the city. So we're going to start with the first one, which is, oops, which is Uptown. This is Uptown. It looks like the rich area. It looks like the cool area. We're clicking on it and we zoom right into this cool little area. Um, first, we're going to start with Sky Fitness, I guess. It's a gym. Um, and then obviously on each little one, there's literally like 10,000 reviews but we really don't need to see that so we're just gonna look at the picture so it's a gym um I kind of like that it's not a skyscraper but it's still elevated looks like a pretty nice gym with the basketball courts one of my sims is gonna play basketball um yeah that's pretty cool oops I have to stay in the uptown thing all right next is the uptown civic plaza so this is where it looks like uh, the politicians will go when they get more advanced in their career, make their town hall speeches and stuff like that. Hint, hint, one of my people are going to be a politician. Um, yeah. And then we have Stargazer Lounge. Oh, that looks cool. It's like a, um, I guess a rooftop, what is that called? Penthouse thingy? But it's not a penthouse, it's a, a lounge. That's kind of cool. There's a pool. I like... And, of course, the new bubble bar or something like that. I forget what it's called. Um, all right, now we have a couple of apartments. But before we go to the apartments, let's check out the food carts. Um, so I guess there's just a little area of this world where they have a couple food carts. So that's kind of cool. All right, now we have three apartments in this one, which is what everyone wants. There's no houses in The Sims 4 City Living. Land grab apartments, alto apartments, and spire apartments. So... I'll explain what I want to do later with my apartments in the city living, but we'll, I'll show you this. So this is the Stargazer Apartments. That's what it looks like on the outside. Um, it looks actually pretty fancy. Like these apartments, I think in Uptown, all have two floors. So as you see, there's like a staircase there, which is cool. So yeah, your apartments can have two floors. It definitely looks more elegant. Of course, you can make it drab if you want, but it's an elegant neighborhood, more ritzy rich and stuff like that and of course there's new apartment traits that you can add onto your apartment as well to kind of affect them and then we have the land grab apartments oh those are the land grab apartments oh i'm sorry these are the land grab apartments this is this uh what the wow am i just messing things up i messed things up okay this one is land grab apartments everybody okay this one is Alto Apartments. This one has a nice looking bridge in between. Um, this one also looks pretty fancy. Um, oh, wow. That one is not two floors. This one's just very big. How many bedrooms is that? One, two, three. Wow, that's huge, guys. That's huge. That's a big apartment. And it still looks pretty nice. It doesn't look as nice, but it's just the way they decorated it. Um, yeah. Now we have the Spire Apartments, which is pretty cool as well. Um, yeah, looks like we have a two-floor apartment. As you see, there's a stair there. And I don't know if this is part of their apartment or if it's, like, a community lot. Like, I don't know if apartments will have community lots. Like, if you live in the apartment, you get the perks of the pool. I don't really know about that stuff yet, but we'll soon find out, I guess. Um... Yeah, I guess that is pretty much it for for Uptown. That's pretty much it. Let's move on to, let's do my Shuno Meadows, which is the little park area down here. It's just literally a park. You can go jogging, get married, and sand my Shuno Meadows. Um, yeah, it's just a park. Next, we are going to do, let's finish the downstairs area with the fashion districts. This is one of the districts that I am very interested in living when we get to a higher status, a later part of the Let's Play. So as you guys know, I split up my Let's Plays into different kind of categories. For very short mini-series, I do 10 parts, which is very common on my channel. And then for Let's Plays, I do either 30 
20 or 50 parts. So I'm looking to do probably 30 to 50 parts in this Let's Play. Um, get together, I did 20. The original Sims, I did 50. And I want to do... And then... Uh, no, get to work, I did 20. Get together, I did 30. And then original, I did 50. So I want to choose one. I'm not sure what I want to do yet, but we'll see. And this fashion district is something I really want to live in when we get there. So food carts. Once again, there's of course, there's food carts everywhere. Looks like we got some fruity options. Okay. Geek Con. This is my favorite festival because our social media sim who I'm creating, will be able to go to GeekCon and stream and do cool stuff. I think it's, it's so cool. So we have some pictures here from GeekCon. Um, it's it's just so cool. Look at that. It's, it's just, it's, it's such a great idea. It's such a great idea. Um, all right, now, oops, let's go back to Fashion District. We have the Romance Festival also takes place here in the Fashion District, which is also really cool because you can talk to, like, um, a marriage counselor. Or it's not a marriage counselor. It's, like, a love consultor, and they'll, like, tell you how lucky you are with love and when you'll find love. It's it's interesting. Um, next, uh, so we have how many apartments? Oops. Oops, oops, oops. We have three apartments, but we're going to go to Planet Honey Pop, which is the karaoke bar. Or just a lounge if you don't want to sing. But one of our sims will do karaoke. And we'll, yeah, we'll go to karaoke night. It's pretty cool. All right, we're going to look at the 21 Chic Street apartment first. Looks like a smaller building. Um, but still looks pretty nice. I mean, actually, it, it doesn't look very nice. So I guess this is one of the lower density apartments. But we, we can actually start here in the fashion district. But y'all know I'm interested in one of the other districts. Um, yeah, it looks like a pretty decent apartment. Or, you know, someone was starting up with their girls. Zenview Apartments um, looks like a moderate-looking apartment. It has two floors. Um, it's decorated moderately. I feel like they're hinting at something if it is decorated like that. Uh, but yeah, it looks just like a normal apartment. Two floors, which is nice. And then the one I'm interested in, the Torrendi Apartments, which is like the coolest building in the city. And then we're going to live here one day. It's a basketball court. It's like, oh my god. It's it's a penthouse. Of course, it's a penthouse. We're when we get a penthouse, guys. I don't really care about the whole top of the world thing. We are going for the Torrendi apartments. All right, we're doing it. Next, we're gonna go to the arts quarter. The arts quarter is really cool as well because it's not too expensive, but it's not too cheap at all. So now we have the art center, which is basically just a. Oh, I guess it's a lounge because it's not even a museum. All right, well I guess it's like a loungeish area. Yeah, there's some tables and stuff. But it's really technically a museum, if you think about it. Um, we have the outdoor plaza here. Um, just a couple pictures. Uh, I think the flea markets take place in this area as well. The graffiti, which one of our Sims will do, I think is really cool. I This was in The Sims 3 University, and I loved doing this. I love tagging walls, and so I, I'm glad we get to do that again. Yeah, look at that. That looks so cool. Um... The Humor and Hijinks Festival is in this area. So I guess the flea market isn't in this area. Uh, yeah, Humor and Hijinks, pretty much one of the most boring festivals to me. Uh, comedians versus pranksters. Not that interested, but still a cool idea. Um, now we have three apartments in this area as well. The Hackham House, the Fountain View Penthouse, and the Medina Studios. We're going to do that one first. Um, I assume this is exactly what it sounds like, and it's a studio apartment. They don't really show, but... It doesn't look that big in the picture, and it does. It looks moderately priced as well. Like, look at the way this one's dressed versus the way this one is. This is pretty much how we're gonna start off. You know, this crusty little apartment, but it looks it still looks really nice. Fountain View Penthouse. Uh, this one looks like it's a little bit more urbanized. Uh, definitely does not look as fancy as the other ones. I like the rustic feel. Definitely gonna go for that when I try building dry building um yeah and then the hack him house which is basically this little crusty apartment that we saw in the trailer um i mean it's not little i mean it, it is kind of little it's kind of little there's two bedrooms though which i think is great um if we, we have three sims so we're gonna have to find a nice apartment that fits all of them and then lastly my fave neighborhood the spice market um if you guys are wondering why i like this neighborhood so much it's because i feel like where i live in the world it's not a very rich area I'm not poor. I'm not poor at all. But I feel like when you go to the main city by me, you do not see something like that fashion district. You see literally this kind of stuff. 
like the crusty old buildings with the graffiti everywhere and it's cool the spice festival which i'm very interested in i got the chili the, the curry eating contests and stoofs like that i think it's really cool um yeah, and you get to try different foods at the stands. I think it's really cultural. I like that, how it's a big city and they're focusing a lot on the culture. Uh, food carts, as per usual, we have, like, looks like some, I mean, I'm not going to judge, but that looks like some Mexican food. And then that one looks like vegetarian, and this one looks like Indian food, maybe, or Chinese. I really don't know what that is. Maybe, like, a, a faux Panera bread. I don't know. Next, we have the basketball courts, which is really cool. You know, because one of our sons is going to be a basketball star. Um, yeah, I really like the basketball courts. I'm definitely 100%, 100% going to build a basketball stadium or basketball arena court in, like, a larger scale as a house build or a community build, a speed build. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do it, and it's going to look cool. Uh, flea market festival. Woo, woo! I'm so excited about this. Guys, when I say we're going to go to the flea market all the time, we're going to go to the flea market. You see these crusty little things? That's how we're going to get our revenue. We're going to go to the flea market. We're going to buy stuff. I'm noticing that everything is on this certain tarp. So I wonder if you have to buy this tarp to sell things or if it's just there for decoration. But it does say we're able to sell stuff. So we could try. Um, I love the completing collection thing. I think it's a great idea. The snow globes are new. Um... And we can buy art right? So if I really think something fits well with the apartment, yeah, I cannot wait because I am very, like, organized with all my apartments. But with city living, I'm going to have to realize that we have to scrap, scrape from the bottom of the barrel for money and go to the flea market and miss, mitch, match all, miss, all our furniture. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. All right. We have the Waterside Warble, which is the food, sea food house seafood house a bar it looks like a seafood house does that not look like a seafood house i mean there's a giant fish on it and now we have one two three count them three apartments as the other neighborhoods do let's go to the old salt house first this is uh one of the only i'm pretty sure it is the only warehouse that you can actually buy and convert into an apartment so it's cool as a loft definitely gonna be looking into this one uh, yeah, so instead of opting for an apartment, you can literally buy just a, a warehouse. Jasmine Suites, which is, are these iconic buildings already from the city living trailers. These apartments look really nice. And if I, I mean, they're small. They're one bedroom, which stinks. So I really don't think we're going to be able to start off in the Spice Market District unless we go with that warehouse. But I want an apartment. Um... So, I don't know, we'll have to figure something out, because the Cold Pepper Apartments has two stars, and it looks like, it just doesn't look nice. It really does. It's two stars. Um, I want to move to the city so badly. It seems doable. I'm glad I have enough money to step foot in this place. Ignore the haters. It's basked with love. Okay, I mean, we can try. We will have to see what the future holds because, you know, we can invite roommates over too. So I don't know if we're necessarily going to be able to start out in the spice market. Um, but yeah, I'm going to just go back through everything quickly and show you my two favorite apartments. Um, the Arts Quarter one, was it this one? No, it's not this one. Um... No, it's not from the Arts Quarter. Definitely, my favorite, for sure, is the Fashion District, the Torrendi, uh Tower with the penthouse. That is definitely going to be our goal to move into. And then uh, Uptown has just some great, great apartments. Um, the Alto apartments are pretty cool. It is pretty big, which I like. So I'd consider that one. And I'd also consider this one because it's two floors and i feel like a two-floor apartment might be necessary so we will see where we're gonna start off this city living expansion pack with um guys leave a like on this video if you did enjoy you can check this map out for yourself and read in more detail on the sims4.com or on sims vip's website she'll give you a link and she, alexis from the sims vip is just amazing and she'll give you a whole overview of the city so i hope you guys enjoyed this like it's a big help and i'll see you guys all again next time with some more Halloween videos for Halloween week and hopefully next Tuesday with City Living. Bye.